What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys we are back with some more interior work. Last episode we worked over on the back, on the big main building here. We got in a load of rooms, some stairways and walkways and stuff like that. Now today we're going to be turning around and we're going to head over to this corner over here. We're going to do a bit of work inside this corner here and a little bit of work inside this little part on the right hand side here as well. So we're going to start guys by coming down here. Now first of all guys I'm not going to go over all the materials we're going to be using in today's episode because we are going to be using a lot of different things and it's going to kind of be done a, a few bits on the spare at the moment for the decorating so things are going to be likely to change. We will however be using some simple materials at first which is obviously going to be our dark oak planks and stairs, some stone bricks, stone brick stairs, a few iron frames and torches, lanterns, spruce fences and spruce trap doors. These are definitely going to be used in today's episode but we are going to be using some decorating uh, materials because we're going to be making a bit of a kind of prayer room inside here. It's almost like a church but it's going to be a lot smaller and just, you know, just a little bit more sort of cosy. Right, so first of all, as you come in the gate guys, we're going to head around to this little entrance around the side here. We're going to come in this door. And first of all, we're just going to get our dark oak planks. And on the right hand side here, we're going to put two here. We're going to bring this all the way up to the ceiling. And we're going to fill all of this side here, okay? So let's fill all of this side here with our dark oak planks. Now, I know we're jumping into this one pretty quick, guys. But I figure we've got a lot of work to get done in this castle. So we kind of just want to crack on with all of the work and get everything all done. Now, there's a lot of things I want to do in this castle, but if you guys have any ideas on anywhere you'd like to see a certain room or certain rooms that you want to see inside the castle, please be sure to let me know in the comments because it will really help me out for doing the interiors and getting some ideas and stuff that I know you guys are going to enjoy as well. Now, once you've done that, guys, we're going to go ahead on this very corner here and we're just going to put another layer of bricks like this. I just think it brings the wall out a little bit nicer and just looks a little bit better like that. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with this room just yet. So if you guys have any ideas, please be sure to let me know in the comments because I honestly have no idea what we're going to do with this just yet. Now, we're going to come over to this side here and where we've got the corner here, so we've got an archway over there. Where we've got this corner here, we're going to get a stairway that kind of curls up around here. So first of all, from this corner here, leave a one, two block gap, place a block on the third and the fourth one, and then just raise these two like this all the way up to the ceiling. Okay. Now, we're going to get a stairway in from the bottom here. So let's just put a full block at the bottom of each side like this. And then put an upside down stair here and here, and also here and here. Then get your stone bricks, go over to this corner here, and we're just going to make a little extension across the edge here all the way like this. And I think I'm going to put an upside down stair at each side of that like that. And then we can probably go every other one like this. And then this side, we're going to ignore that for the moment. Okay, so we're going to have a little two stair sort of walkway here. So let's get our dark oak stairs. And we've got our upside down stair here where the full block is. Let's put in two stairs. We'll put in another two stairs. Then we'll put in one more lot of two stairs. Then we're going to place one, two, three planks like this. Then we're going to go in front of this one. We go two stairs, two stairs. And then from this stair here, if we stand on top of it, Break one, two, three, four, five, six, like this for the minute. Um, here we're going to go one, two, and then one, two, three in this gap. Then break this one here, and then break one, two, one, two, and then those two there. Okay. And then we can actually leave these ones here. Actually, we'll break those ones there across that edge. So it'd be three long and all the way back to the wall here. Now, down the side here, let's put in some stone bricks like this. We're going to place two stairs at the top, two against there, and two against here. Then we're literally going to go one and two. And if we come all the way down here to the bottom down here, let's bring this one here all the way down to the bottom here. And 
and I guess we could actually go ahead and bring this one down as well. And then maybe we'll put an upside down stair there. Let's put an upside down stair there. We put some full blocks underneath that one there. And then we're going to go upside down stairs there. Upside down stairs here, if I can place them. Upside down stairs here and upside down stairs there. Then all we're going to do is get our stone bricks and we're literally going to come underneath here. Go all the way to the top. Bring stair, uh, some blocks all the way down. Same in this little gap here. Bring them all the way down and then just attach them to the ground here like so. And I guess we could actually just go ahead and actually change that out like that. That looks a little bit more fitting. Yeah, so you can go ahead and put some chests or something in here if you wanted to. But I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, and that gives us a nice stairway to get up to the next level. As you can see, we can go all the way around and all the way to the top. At the top here, let's put a block there. And I think what we're going to actually do for this bit, I think we're going to actually place some trap doors across here and then open them up like that. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to stick with that, I think. Now, let's quickly head back downstairs here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stone brick stairs, place an upside down one at each side like this. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go one, two and one, two like this. Bring that all the way across the side. OK, so we now have something like that. Then we're actually just going to bring it down one more. Place two stairs here, two stairs here. And then on the opposite side here, we're going to put three stone bricks at the top. Upside down stair that side, upside down stair that side. Just to create a little bit of a shape here as we come through into this room. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think we're done in this room down here, guys. So let's head back up the castle to the floor upstairs. We're going to come up here. And up here, we're going to need to make another stairway. So we're going to need to make a stairway up to this part of the tower up here. So what we're going to do here is I think we're going to start from this corner here. So we can come up this these stairs here and go straight onto a stairway over here. So one block back from that corner, let's put two stairs there. Another two. Two there. And then one more lot of two. So you should now... Have a 2x2 two two block here where you can fill with planks. Then we're going to go another 2 here. And we're going to just st step them up slowly. So let's go up to here. Keep going. And then... I think this next level... Can we break them? No, we can't. they got to stay stone around the edge. So I think what we'll do is we're going to bring it up one more. Like this. Okay. And then the next one is going to be the floor level. So let's just put a stone brick there. we put two stairs like this. And this is now the floor level. So what we're going to do is... Because we want the floor to be here. So let's get our dark oak planks. We're going to fill this bit across here. So we have our platform at the top. Then we're going to bring the planks all the way across to this side. Like this. We're going to go ahead and just fill all of the all of this section on that side. So fill all of that with our dark oak planks or the planks that you want to use for your flooring. It's entirely up to you guys. Okay, once you've got that all in place, guys, we're going to go down here. And I guess we're going to go one, two, three, maybe four. Four. Can we still get down? Yep, we still can. Okay, so four from that edge. Then we're going to just go ahead and fill the rest of the floor in up to here. Now, I think over this side here, I think it would probably look better if we bring up the stone. So let's bring the stone up to there. And what we do to blend it in with the wall, we do this. We'll put in some stone bricks like this. So we're following the pattern of the windows. Let's go ahead and just bring it over to this one here, just so we can keep the pattern the same. And then we just run some across the top here. And then one more. Actually, we'll just go to this. Just go up to the seat, up to the ceiling, up to the roof. There we go. Okay, right. Now, up here, we've got our towers in the corner. 
we break those four like that, you can see we've got the towers there. So let's break those two as well. Let's do that. Do you know what? We'll break these ones here for a minute as well. Let's do it on all four sides. So like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the same over here. Like that. Now, for these corners... They're such little areas. I don't know if to try and do something with them or if to just open them up. So if we was to open it up, for instance, we could do something like that. And then it could be stairs around that top lip like that. I think that might be better because we, I mean, we've got such a little space up here. I mean, we've got windows there anyway. It's not like we could really do much with these little corners. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll do, we'll do that. Break these ones here like this. So you basically break it down until you bring it level with the wall and then just place some stairs around the corner. Okay. So again, where the ceiling is there, let's break one, two, three. One, two, three. And then just these four on this corner here. Stairs around that edge. Okay, and then the last one over here, do the same thing. Not that one there. Stairs around this little edge here. Okay, right, so we've got a fair bit of room here to play with. Let's just finish up this stair bit here. So let's break from where the stair starts, which is there. We're going to break a row all the way across to here. And then this one here. And then what we'll do... Well, without falling, ideally, let's put two stone brick stairs in here like this, just to make a nice little edge. And then stone bricks all the way down that edge. We will put one block just there. We will put um, another brick there. Thinking about, it, can we get away with that to get underneath the stairs? We can. Let's bring that one forward. The stairs there, okay? Because we got a pillar here. I don't want to bring the banister. The little fence up to the window so break these three here and replace that with some um, dark oak planks and then we put a plank there and I think for this top floor we're putting some spruce fence like so which I think looks pretty cool there we go and I'm f I mean you could put the fence down here as well you know the only thing is it isn't gonna attach to the wall because of this little piece here but I think that actually looks nicer. It looks better than the trapdoors there. Now, where we got our stairs here, guys, we're going to place a block like this against every stair going up until we get to there. Underneath, let's place some upside down stairs under these like this. Make sure the stairs are upside down. All the way until we get to here, okay? Then I think we'll actually make that a little bit thicker. So let's put another block. This one goes against the upside down stair. Like this. So here it will jump down a little bit extra. Whereas it goes in a zigzag. It will have a little jump here on that turn. And then we're just going to go an upside down stone brick stair against these ones. Make sure it's upside down. All the way to that one. And then from here we're going to place one there. One there. And let's, um, I'll tell you what, let's break those two upside down stairs there. We'll put two stone brick stairs and an upside down one there. Just to kind of give it a little bit more of a solid look. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think hanging in the center here, a chandelier will be good. But for the moment, we're just going to leave it like that while we finish up a few bits. So let's put some upside down stairs against these four blocks here. Then when we get to this one, let's go upside down stair on the next one up. All the way up to there like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. That looks really good. And then if we get a lantern, I think we can put one just about there. Which has got a one block gap around the edge against the walls there. Okay, So you can see it's the kind of the center one of this 3x3 three three area here. And I think that looks really cool. I actually really like that. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and place a little lamp maybe underneath there for the moment. Just add a little bit of light. 
You even place one here if you wanted. Um, but we're going to be check making something of this room here a little bit later on. So uh, we, we might change those as we go along. Now, what we're going to do with this top floor here. So, I think, first of all, let's go ahead and I'll tell you what, let's get some logs. Let's get some dark oak logs. And what we'll do is we'll make some pillars, first of all. So, if we look up at the corners here, you can see we've got a block here at the side on all four sides. There's a block, okay, on that edge. Let's get a pillar all the way across. Break that one there. Oh, no, that one's got it shows on the outside. Let's leave that as a full block. So then we'll connect that up like that. We're going to do the same across here. And then we're going to do it the opposite way as well. So this time we actually have to cross this pillar. So you, it doesn't matter which side you start. It doesn't matter which side they kind of cross. If you do this way first and then you have to do the cross on this side. It doesn't matter. But bring them over like this. And join it up to this side here. Okay, that looks pretty good. What if we was to put a pillar all the way up to there? Would that look okay? Or would that leave us with no room to do anything in the corner? It wouldn't really work over here. So we won't we're not gonna do that. Sorry guys, that was just an idea for a second. We're not gonna do that. Let's break that away. What we will do, however, is get our stone brick stairs. We'll place them on these ones here. In fact, you know what? We'll place a brick first and then a stone brick and a stone brick stair upside down like that. Okay, so a brick and then two stone brick stairs. So let's go ahead. Let's put a brick. Actually, this side here is only going to be one because we've already brought that edge of the wall out. Okay, so make sure you do that, guys. Be careful you don't mess up there. Then the rest of the sides can have that like that. And then two upside down stairs. Two upside down stairs, if I can get them upside down. All the way around like this. Okay, so it's just that wall where you come up the stair there. It's this one wall here that will only have one on it. Then we're going to get our planks. And in here, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to just fill that little edge there with planks. We'll do the same around this one. All the way around. And in that gap there as well. And then we just put our dark oak stairs across here. That one we ain't going to be able to because the wall has already been brang out. So we just do it on those, on these three. Okay. I mean, if you've done it here, you could do it here. But it will change the look compared to everywhere else. So it might feel a little bit strange. Um, but it's up to you if you want to do it. I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Okay, right. I mean, that looks pretty good, guys. We've got a room up here now. It's kind of organized and open. It's a bit dark up here. So what we're going to do, let's place a block there. We're going to put another block in the center. It's really dark, but basically I've got a block in the center. Then we're going to put some stairs going all the way around that outer edge like this, okay, to create a bit of a groove. Then we're going to put a fence. We're then going to grab an iron bar. And then we'll place the iron bar on front of the fence. We'll do another fence with a piece poking out of each side like this. And then we will place one, two, three, four lanterns like that. Just to create a nice little light up in the ceiling there. And I think that does it, guys. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know what we would do with this room up here in the tower. This, to me, feels a bit like a kind of... Um, a bit like a, a wizard's tower, I guess, but it's not as not quite as high. But maybe we could have like a potion brewing room up here for some potions and stuff like that. Let me know in the, in the comments what you guys think. But I think a potion brewing room might work pretty well there. And what about if we were to do that? Does that look a bit strange? Hmm, I don't know if I prefer that or not. 
I'm going to just go with it for now, guys. It's up to you if you guys want to do it as well. But I think adding that extra post in the center there with one lantern underneath, I think actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, I guess we're going to head downstairs now. So I think we've got pretty much all of the stairways worked out everywhere now. So we can get around our castle with no problems now. There are stairways in place. There are walkways in place and everything like that that we need. So I think this is all pretty good. What do we have through this one? Oh, we can't get past that corner. I never knew that before, but we can't actually get through that gap. So, hmm, we're going to have to do something about that. That's not going to work. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll break this little bit of the wall here. Sorry, guys, I do apologize. We're then going to break this sticking out piece here for a minute. Break that block there. And we're going to go upside down stairs here and here. We'll have to break this little post here. And this little piece here. And then what we'll do is we'll put... Um, we'll put another upside down stair there. We'll have to go block, block. Two blocks here. Another one here. Then we'll grab ourselves a slab to go there. And that looks a little bit more fitting. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We should now not have a problem getting around that edge. And we don't. Okay, cool. I hope you guys managed to follow that okay, guys. And uh, don't forget, if you have already done a load of texturing, make sure you add a bit of texture to these ones as well. Just so that it blends in nicely with everything that's already there. There we go. Okay, excellent. Right, so now we can get around this piece here and we can get into the actual uh, gate, gatehouse bit here. This already actually looks okay. I think I might put an upside down stair there and there. There and also in there. Inside here, we're not going to go too crazy. I think just some upside down stairs across like that. And then the same on the opposite side here. Upside down stairs. This is in the centre part of the gate tower, like this. And then up there, we've got a high piece to the tower. I think we could go upside down stairs around this edge, like this. Underneath all of those four blocks. Okay, so we have something like that. Then we could go upside down stair in the centre. Um, then pick a side, do two upside down stairs on one, two upside down stairs on the other. And then the piece in the middle, I think we're going to go one and then fill that bit up like this. Maybe do it one more time till we get to about there. And we're going to go with a fence, iron bar, fence. And again, we'll do our same little light that we've done before. Let's bring it all the way around like this. Let's place one underneath. Lantern on that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I don't necessarily give us much light down here, but it will give us a bit of light up there and it'll just make it look a bit nicer. So let's do that in this little tower piece over here as well. We're going to do exactly the same thing, guys, okay? So start with your upside down stairs on your four blocks here, all the way around the edge, like this. Upside down one in the centers. Choose a side, two upside down stairs here. Turn around, two upside down stairs there. Let's bring these ones down all the way to here. Then we've got a fence, iron bar, fence. Oops, placing it in the right place would help. Right there. Fence posts all the way around the edge. One underneath in the center. And then lanterns on the bottom of all of the fence posts. And not on the ceiling like that. Perfect. And if you wanted to, you could put a lamp, a uh, lantern under here and here. And overall, guys, I think that will do for now. Again, we will put some decorations in here at some point. But for the moment, I just want to get everything fully organized. And I think 
we are more or less there. We've got our walkways in down here. Again, we're going to have to put some lamps down this little walkway here. But this is looking pretty good. Okay, let's head back on the outside here. And we're going to head this time over to this area here with this little shelf bit over the side here. And we're going to do something with this room. Let's put a, lan a lantern just up there. Okay, right now in this room. First of all, before we do anything, I'm going to get my dark oak planks. And where the doorway is here, let's go ahead and make a nice little kind of wood dark oak surrounding around this bit of wall here. So just fill all of this section in with your dark oak planks or whatever planks you used to match up around the edge of the doorway here. Something like that. Perfect. Now... Let me see. So, in here, we're going to be using quite a few decorations and stuff. So, first of all, I want to add in a, a little kind of support to the ceiling. And let me just change that out there for a full block. I don't know why that's a slab. So, here, we're going to start from the corner where the door is. One block gap, just put a stair there. And then every other block, like that, we'll do the same on the opposite side. So, it's going to be from here. Every other block like that. And then we're going to double them up. So put one in front, one underneath. One underneath, one in front. And do this on all of them on both sides. Okay, that already creates a bit of a nicer feel to the room. Okay, just a nicer bit of a feel. Right. Um, over here, I want to create a doorway. So let me... See, right, we've got a room. Okay, we can come through there. So what you want to do is from the very bottom. So let's go to the back right-hand corner of the room. Get your dark oak planks and go one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to place a stair right there in that gap and then break the two blocks above it so you have a doorway like this and then go ahead and put a stair above it like that okay so you're now gonna have a doorway to come through here which will be right in the center here okay now for this we're gonna just get ourselves a dark oak door and we're gonna place it like that so it will stick out in here, but what you can just do is just create an extra bit of framing around the doorway like this. Place one there, upside down stair there, so it looks like it actually, you know, is a full kind of wall on both sides. Right, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come one block in front of this stair, so we should have six blocks across here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just go ahead and bring that all the way across to the other side of the room. And then we're just going to fill in all of these blocks behind like this. For a little raised kind of platform. And then I think we can get two stairs at each side. And we should hopefully have a three block gap, which we do. Perfect. Right, okay. So... This is kind of going to be like a little bit of a church, although it's not a church. It's like a place for pro like for place for prayer, I suppose. So, um, at the back here, this little section of the wall here, we're just going to go ahead and just fill this with any block of your choice. It doesn't matter what it is because it's going to be covered. It could even be dirt. It really does not matter, guys. So go ahead and do that. And then we're going to actually have to just remove these stairs here because they're going to get in the way. So let's remove those. Now, what's on the outside here? Well, that's actually the outside of the castle. So we'll have to leave that as it is. So now we've got a kind of pillar here. So let's make a pillar on the opposite side. Um, something like that. Let's get in some crack stone. Kind of just to bring blend in the same pattern here, guys. So something like that. We've now got four blocks across here. So now we're going to get ourselves some bookcases or bookshelves and we're literally just going to go all the way across like this with some bookshelves and what you can actually do is leave those two there for instance 
Let's do a crosshair. Let's actually leave the two corners here. Then I suppose we could raise the rest all the way up to the roof. Yeah, something, something like that. And then we're going to get ourselves some barrels. Now, this part here is also optional, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crafting table. I'm also going to grab the scaffolding. Um, and you can also use some uh, spruce stairs and slabs if you want. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crafting table because... Although this is Jersey Boys pack, I have made a few changes to it of my own. Um, so for this one, I changed Jersey Boys texture pack to not have a cloth on the top of it. And I actually made this little drawer section here a little bit wider. So we've got a thinner gap around the edge. And doing that, what I've got is like this. So I can actually use this as like a kind of worktop. You know, if we do it like this way, you see we have exactly the same. It can be used as like a work surface. Um... So you guys could use the crafting table here. You could go ahead and put in scaffolding if you wanted, like this, across here as a work table. Or you could just go ahead and put in an upside down spruce stair on that side, an upside down stair spruce stair on that side, and then some slabs across the center, just to make a workspace. Uh, so it's entirely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and use the crafting table, like I said. Then we'll place some barrels in these gaps here to make a little kind of... Um, just a nice looking little area here for where the books and that are going to be. Okay, right. That looks pretty good, guys. We're going to end up having a cauldron. So let's get a cauldron. We're going to get a water bucket. We're also going to get ourselves a lectern. Some trap doors. I'm going to get the spruce trap doors for this bit. We're also going to use, um, what else we're going to use? We're going to use some of the sea pickles, because in this texture pack, they look like candles when you place them um, on the side. Um, and we'll, we'll just keep it for that for the moment. So first of all, the cauldron is going to go right in the center at the front here. And then we didn't pick up our trap doors. Let's grab those. Then we're going to place a trap door here. One on top. One here, one on top. One on top of that, uh, on top of the cauldron. And then let's open all of these up. Let's put the water inside the cauldron. And we're going to just go over to the side here. And what we're going to do is just place a few of the, um, the sea pickles that look like candles. Maybe something like that. And if you wanted to, you could just put a little lantern in each of the corners here. Let's break these two, um, these three torches. We don't need those. Then around the back here, we're going to place a lectern. And we're going to grab a spruce stair. So spruce stair. And we're going to crouch, place one upside down, one there. One upside down, one there. And then, again, here, guys, it's entirely up to you. You can go ahead and put something onto the sides here if you wanted. Maybe, like, a, just a single sea pickle to look like a candle like that. I think that might look quite nice. And, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So, we've got a nice little kind of area here for what would be, like, a kind of prayer place. We're going to get in some seating as well here. So, what we do is, where the stair is here, leave a one-block gap. Then place one, two, three stairs there. Leave a one block gap behind and do another three. This side over here, do exactly the same thing. So three and then three. And that should leave us a three block gap down the center, which is perfect. Now, here we're going to get ourselves some spruce wood signs. So let's get some spruce signs. We're going to use some of those. We're going to need some flower pots. Along with a few little flowers, we'll get some red ones and some white ones. Then, I think we're going to just grab that red mushroom for a minute. Because I'll show you something that we have in this texture pack that I think is pretty cool. Um, and I think that's going to be about it for the, for the moment. You can always decorate with some skeleton heads and stuff like that if you wanted. So, first of all... Um, actually, guys, two things I missed here. One was glowstone. Let's get some glowstone. And then we're going to get some red carpet. 
So we'll just actually go red carpet. And we're also going to get ourselves some blocks of red wool. Right. Now, first of all, put a sign against each of the um, sides for these chairs here. Just to make them look like that's like a little aisle of seats. Just like so. Then, I guess... Hmm... I guess where we got all these candles here, actually, maybe we will actually put a flower pot with some flowers in like this. Something like that. I think that might look a little bit better for now because we've got the candles at the front here. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to place, break this block here. And we're going to place a glowstone there. We'll place one here. We'll also place one here. Then... You just want to scatter some on the floor. So let's place one there. One in front of the cauldron. One in front of that stair. And then maybe one here. And one here. And then one on this side of the door. Why not? And we'll leave the other side like that. So now what we're going to do is randomly down the center here. We're going to just scatter in some pieces of carpet like this. Now, we can't place them here because we've got the signs. So, don't worry about that if you can't place them in them places. Okay, just place them kind of where you can. Something like this. Um, actually, not that one there. We'll do... Um, let's break that one. Let's break that one. Over here, we'll do one there. There. Like that. And then like that. Now, some people like leaving it like this, um, but if you don't, you can always go ahead and change these ones for some actual red wall. And that, what it'll do is it'll just make the ground just look a little bit sort of, sort of rough and slightly worn down. Like this. Then we can come up here if you want. You can do the same on this little piece. Yeah, something kind of like... So it gives you a bit more of a rough looking carpet. It's entirely up to you how you prefer doing it. Myself, I kind of like it either way. Um, there's no particular way that I actually prefer it. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and put a couple of skeleton heads up on the wall like that for a little bit of decoration. Um, and then I think what we do is we're going to actually get another little chandelier kind of thing in again, guys. So let's go ahead. We'll get our spruce fence again. Iron bars. And then some lanterns. And here we're going to get right in the center of the aisle here. And then we're going to find a good spot about there, I think. So we are actually one, two, three, four. There's a four block gap. So this is the fifth block across from the wall where the door is, okay? And we're just over from the door in the center of the room. Let's put an iron bar, a fence at the bottom. And then um, actually another fence at the bottom. And then wrap our stairs around the outside edge like this. And then of course we're going to get ourselves some lanterns on the bottoms. Just like so. Okay that looks pretty good. And in fact that looks too low. So we're going to get rid of that bottom piece because that's too low. That looks okay. I think we can get away with that one. If you're unsure of it like that, guys, you could always put the iron bar there. Put your fence one up. And then that way you can get rid of these like this. Make sure you go and pick your lanterns up. And then put your fence around at this height. That just gives you that one block sort of more, one block higher up. So it kind of just feels a little bit more sort of fitting for the room. That actually looks better. Yeah, that looks better. So go ahead and do something like that, I think. And then we can get rid of these off of the walls here. Let's get rid of those. And we'll get rid of that torch there. That torch there. I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to use my crafting table. Some chests. And yeah, I think, that's, I think that'll do, actually. Let's put a crafting table there. We'll put a chest there. Then over this side here, I think we're actually just going to put just a chest there like that. Let's put 
the lantern on the corner there just to give us a little bit more light sort of lightness over in this corner um yeah i think that actually pretty much does it now one thing i was going to say about doing here guys and obviously you can only do this if you're using uh, i can't remember if this was in jersey boys texture pack or if i added it from another texture pack but if you place a flower pot here and you put a red mushroom in it you get a quill on feather, which is really cool. Like for signing the registry book, if people are getting married or something, because you're kind of in a church area. And I think that looks pretty cool, you know. But it's entirely up to you. You guys could leave it as a candle or a sea pickle, should I say. So it's entirely up to you how you guys want to do it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead, I think, and place a chest. I think that side there, like that, I think that looks pretty cool. And then we're just going to get a couple of pictures. So we get a couple of paintings and we're going to put them up on the walls. So let's go ahead. We're going to have to just put a block just there for the minute. So we have a two one there. Let's do that. Um, over this side here. Again, I don't want it to go too far. Let's do a two block one. Wow. Why did that? Let's try that again. Let's do that. There we go. And then I think that will probably actually do it. Let's go ahead and put that there. We could maybe get a little one there. There we go. Just a little bit of decoration just to make the room look a little bit nicer. But I think overall, guys, that this is pretty cool. I actually really like this. Let's add another bit of carpet there just to finish off that. And I think that is actually all complete. I would say that's as good as done, guys. So we've got a nice little room here. This is all ready and finished, I think, now. And, uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool. So, guys, we've got a fair bit done. We've done the room on this side here. We've got our stairway and that all sorted on this side. I think in the next episode, we're going to start working on maybe either the throne room or the feast hall. We're going to start getting that in place um, and start getting some of the other rooms and that all done so we can start getting the castle looking really nice But so far guys, I'm really happy with what we have One last thing I'm gonna do before we go is just make a little area in here So let's go ahead and just put a little bit of a bush down this side here I think I'm gonna just climb the vine up the wall here a little bit and Maybe we'll actually come over like this Let's put it on there, and we're going to just dangle it down here like so. And I think that vine, I'm going to try and make that actually be a bit more. Mm. Yeah, maybe a bit more like that, I think. That looks a little bit better, I think. Something like that. Let's get ourselves a couple of little flower pots up here. And I guess up here... Let's just put in some red flowers for now. We're putting the red tulip, something like that. Nice little bit of decoration there. We've also got some windows over here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they've actually got the pillars there. We can't do nothing with those ones. So that's fine. Um, we could also just bung a little bush in the corner here just for a little added piece of decoration again. Something like that. And maybe we just put a little bush behind, a little flower behind it. Maybe a peony. Just like so. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let's put another peony in. Hmm, we can't put it in those ones. Let's get ourselves some cool dirt. Maybe like that. And go peony and a peony. Yeah, that looks good. Let's actually break those ones there like that, I think, actually. And maybe we'll just put in a little, little bit of a decoration like that. Just to make it look a little bit more like it kind of blends in. Something like that, maybe. Just so it looks like it is part of the car, so you know there's a little bit of a sort of a wall there. I think it makes it look a little bit better. We could even break that one there and put a flower. Yeah, it's entirely up to you guys, but I'm just trying to find ways to add little bits of color to the castle here just to make it look a little bit more pretty, you know, and just make it look a little bit more sort of fitting with everything else that we've got going on. Um, but overall, guys, i got to say I absolutely love the way this is shaping up. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. 
Let me know what room you would like to see done in the castle next in the comments below. Um, and whichever one maybe you guys think we should do next. If I get loads of comments on a particular room, we'll do that one next. Um, if you have any ideas for the castle, please be sure to let me know in the comments as well. It's always great to hear some feedback from you guys. But for now, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.